What's this I hear, and I, I don't know if this is still the case, but that you get car sick when I you do. aren't driving? No, I do, it's weird, and it's getting worse the older I get. So if I'm driving, I'm fine, but you know, a cab in New York is a death sentence. I'm sitting in the front seat uh, helps dramatically. Having a decent view also helps. Sitting backwards, no bueno. You like living in Charlotte? I do, it's been a, been a great place. Um, a booming city. Growing like crazy the last you know, four or five years. I moved here in 97 to chase the dream of racing. It's been a, been a great place to, to live and to, to raise a family. Do you think you guys stay here uh, permanently, uh, long term? We're asking really? ourselves that question now. Now that I don't need to, to be here for work, we could live anywhere. I think a New York, Colorado uh, rotation would work really nice. Right. Super interesting that you know you somehow have this perception when you were younger in your career that you had a, a, a silver spoon yeah when so you're far from you're, the you're one of the the few that didn't yeah uh, like how, how does how does that even work i had a simple upbringing but i drove for these amazing teams and you know haters if you will on the outside would say, oh, he's, he has a silver spoon in his mouth. It's, it's because of his parents. Right, and, and what, because you drove for the amazing teams and you acted professional? Correct. So it, it really didn't get under my skin. I was just like, what? We're all gonna have something labeled on us. Right. Do you see your family kind of long-term always having a presence in the sport? I feel like with what, and what I was able to accomplish in NASCAR, that I, I want to stay, stay involved. I don't know what that looks like, but um, you know, be a part of it. The running your own teams? I don't, I've never had a desire to own and run a team. Um, I feel like at Hendrick, there, there could be an opportunity there for me, you know, if I really wanted to get back in it and work. Do I look at television? Do I, uh, I don't know what it would be, honestly. And how old are the kids? They are 11 and eight. Could, could you see either of them getting into racing? Maybe somewhere? Lydia. Yeah? Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a high likelihood, but she has to go to the go-kart track. She has to ride her dirt bike you know, a little bit more, more frequently than, than Evie does.